Hey you guys, it's Marissa. I am back with the couple of orders I got on Black Friday and what I ordered to use for my December daily. Um, am I the only one? I know I'm not, but every Christmas I say this, like I'm not going to get a lot because I have so much left over. Um, so, so I'm kind of thinking that I might hopefully just stick to this kit or to the things that I got from Pretty Little Studio, um, you know, and the things that I showed you in the last like Felicity Jane um, and just the other couple of online shops. I pulled out all of my old Christmas stuff and I was, I'm just so tired of looking at it. And yeah, I say it every year. I don't need to buy any more Christmas, but it's one, you know, it's, it's like specific. I could see if I would say I should never buy die cuts again. That'll never happen. <laughs> um, okay, so I finally got this kit from Pretty Little St I keep saying kit. The stuff I picked out. She um, had a new line this year that was called Christmas Cheer. And that was going to be the line I was going to use. Because she actually incorporated black and white. And I liked that. But I steered away from that. And she had a really good sale. And so... Um, I went for another collection. So this was the thank you if you spent, um, sorry, I know I've got the band-aids on. I get such dry skin in the summer. Um, I don't know why I said any of that, but she gives you a thank you if you spent like a certain amount of money. Mine was over 50. So you just get like die cuts and these um, acetate sheets. And I think I actually have them from last year too. Um, and then if you saw it in a video haul like a long time, well, months ago when I did a, um, a grab bag of her stuff. She, I wish I would have looked at it because she had put like a lot of Christmas things in that actually went with this line. Um, but anyways, I chose, let me just do the paper. You know, I, I won't pull it all out, but, um, this one's called glitter and ice and it's either going to be this one or the one with the black and white. And I don't know what it was. I have never used this color blue. You know, I love navy blue. I've never used this color in any Christmas anything. So, um, you know, it was cutesy, but it was still just like colors that even if I wanted to pull in something that I used past years, that it would, it would work. So this is why it took long. She prints her own um, things herself so that's why it had taken so long but this is called glitter and ice and it's 16 sheets of eight by eight and since I'm doing it in um, like the simple stories format this is perfect to cut down for you know pocket pages um, and then I always get way too much die cuts um, but okay, I, I won't open them but they're just you know your basic I, I didn't I found ones because I really like the watercolor look of these trees. So I got ones that I thought, you know, I would use more in, in this because a lot of, I don't use a lot of cutesy things. It just depends on what, you know, like what you're in the mood or what page it's for. So this is from Christmas, um, Christmas Joy that I think that she probably has about four or five different, um, collections and this is just words but I figured too I could use these and other you know, so I thought, gosh that's a lot but there's some stuff in here I could use other days you know in, in other projects so I got the words um these oh gosh I love these these are let's just look at them oh my you know, this is what did it I've seen these gosh, this is an old collection she's oh well last year um I think there's silver foiling on them but I adore these frames absolutely adore them oh my goodness I wish I could use them outside of Christmas but they're just really Christmassy <laughs> um oh yeah no what these down here aren't gosh I love it I love using these in my traveler's notebooks to journal behind or um put pictures so anyways so that's as soon as I put, put those in my cart I was like all right I'm just gonna do that line so got those to use um, this is, oh, yeah, still glitter nice tags and, um, these little circle phrases and labels are things I use all the time in like pocket page kind of projects. Um, and then this is where I always go just overboard and I 
I actually have more. This is a love one. I don't know. I must have got this because it was cheap. But it's just, you know, the, the sayings. Um, and then this one. Mm, let's see. Oh, the only thing I got from her new line was these numbers I'm going to use for um, the numbers on my December daily. But you know what? I don't think there's any green. That color green in this glitter and ice line. And then I just had to have these. These are just stickers. These um, borders. Oh my gosh, I love them. And then these, I think, are 3 by 8 I thought that these would be fun just to stick. I could punch holes and it could be um, you know, a page in my book. Or maybe I could journal behind them. Or if it's just a, a day where I didn't take a lot of pictures, I could you know, punch it and then on the back put a picture or I put a picture here and journal here. Um, and then these are the cards. I ended up getting the cards because that is what I'm using this year. So instead of, I like having these ready. So there's four by six and three by four. Um, you know, and then like I showed in the last video, all the other Christmas stuff I got had some blues in it. So I'm set. I'm set. Have I prepared? No. I haven't prepared for my December daily. Um, yeah, I just, things are just crazy right now. So I was excited to, to get that. Um, and then I also ordered during Black Friday, Kogo Daisy. I wanted to get their kits before, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to get a mystery kit and just see what, how much stuff comes in this. Um, and this is a Project Life one. So I'll show you the one I got. I didn't think I'd like it because of the purples, but you know, it's, it's, it's cute. Um, so it was a mystery kit. I asked for a mystery memory keeping kit. They were super cheap and I'm glad I got the Project Life. So I, if I would get this, I don't know if I'd get the Traveler's Notebook or Project Life or how about none of them because I can make up my own kits. Um, so just if you are curious how much stuff comes, because I never knew, um, I've got this stamp pad, stamp pad, um, stamp set. Welcome fall. So I'm just like confused because it's very, it's fall. Then like, let's go eat. But then it's very moon and space um, oriented. You know, I don't know. It's just weird. So like here, here's the, so you get a stamp set. Here's a die cut. It's like it says autumn. I'm just not used to, maybe it's because I'm not used to seeing that autumn or fall stuff in these colors but then this is it's it's like a weird I don't know how to explain it like it's celestial 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 is that what it's called but then they like try to call it fall it's just kind of weird to me um these are gold uh vellum stars you got a tag it's like a this. oh it feels like butter so you got that I got this little I'm thinking pads. I'm assuming that they're all the same. Um, these little pieces, these I won't ever use, but they're cute. I just don't use these anymore. I have a whole bunch of them, but I don't use them. So I got these. I got these puffy alphas. Um, chipboard that I don't use that much anymore, but if I do, I took a trick from Adele and I peel off the top of it to make it not as thick. Um, pretty cute washi tape. And some papers, you know, I'm, I'm not, this, the quality of their paper is really nice. If you've, um, never had anything from them. See, it's really like, um, like astrology and it's just kind of, you know, made me, I don't know, it just doesn't seem fall to me. So you got, I got some four by six cards and some three, I'll just do this three by five. I think that said September. So I guess it's kind of fallish. So yeah, if you ever wanted to get a Cocoa Daisy kit, I, I think they're 30 something. I don't even know if they charge. If they don't charge shipping, I would say this is worth it. But sometimes shipping can be ridiculous. So that's not bad. Um, I think this mystery kit was like, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, $12. Um, another kit that I wanted to try, and I but I only did it one month, 
um, sorry, just showed mine. Ugh, your creative studio. She sells out really quickly. Um, this is kind of like, to me, it's like a vintage memory keeping journaling thing, but, but things that you could get from AliExpress. And I know that a lot of people think, oh, you know, the, the price you could get that at AliExpress for a lot cheaper. And I mean, I know that because I make a lot of orders there, but I just, I kind of like to see once in a while how they're curated for people. Um, so because this is a December box and even the November, I believe she had put on her website, um, she had asked subscribers and nobody wanted a Christmas themed box. So I appreciated that because I didn't, I wouldn't have got this and tried it for a month if you know, it, it was Christmas because I, I didn't want anything like that. Um, I don't know if things are exclusive to her. Um, I'll just hurry. So this was 20, it was less than $30, um, I believe. And it was free shipping. So every month, you know, you, you get one, but again, they sell out really quickly. So like I have, oh, I'm sorry. I have a whole bunch of these. It looks like she put these little snowflake um, extras stamps in every single stamp. So I have like a whole bunch of those. So, um, you know, like here's a mountain. Here's a mountain stamp. So I got a mountain stamp. Here, I'll put all these in later for you. <laughs> you know, I got a, um, this is a pretty big one. I don't know if you guys want to see all these. You know, I wish I could go, what do you think? Do you want to see them all? You can go, yeah or shut up and show us everything else. Here's the owl. I know I probably, I think I heard shut up and show us everything else. So you got, I got one, two, three. Now, if you know me, you know I'm going, what the heck am I going to do with these? But it's okay. And there's still, there's the snowflakes are in there too. Um, I thought you got a lot of stuff for the price. So there's the three stamps. And then I also got... Sorry, I hope I'm trying to go fast so you don't have to sit here. I also got, I think, two wooden stamps. So this is like a carousel, like shooting stars. Um, you know, I don't know. No, yeah. So I have seen, like I said, a lot of reviews on these boxes, um, you know, and people just kind of complaining that it's stuff from AliExpress and it shouldn't cost this much. Well, not everybody, one, wants to wait that long. Um, this, um, is supposed to be like a reindeer, I think. So it's kind of Christmassy, so that's cute. So, you know, and some people can't, um, necessarily order from AliExpress. So, you know, some people want it just to come when it comes. I don't know. I'm fine doing this, you know, every, I, I, I would be fine paying. So this is really pretty washy. So that came with it too. Um, this right here, which looks like a, or maybe a bookmark or a, yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh, it's an owl. It's pretty. I'll, I'll pass this on to somebody else, but yeah, so you got that. And then, um, uh, this little, you know, this is right up my alley book of like journaling spots. Um, these are these stickers right here. These are the kind of things that, you know, I buy on AliExpress. So a lot of like large journaling spots, you get quite a few in there. Um, let's, let's look at this together. I'll leave her link too. I think she's open for, for January. So these are just little pieces of paper, vintage papers. Very cute. Um, what's this? Looks like there's an owl thing. Or a woodland thing or something. Your favorite studio. So maybe she did. Oh, that's cute. So there's some. Oh, there's different papers. Um, so maybe she she did design some of these things. I don't know. Maybe or maybe she designed all of them. I have no idea. Um. No, it looks like they're from some other people. So these are stickers. That's cute. Um. So yeah, vellum, looks like vellum or washi stickers there. 
And then I got a sheet of these. Oh, I think these are rub on. Yeah, I believe these are rub ons, the owls. That must have been like the thing. And then some specialty paper. So, um, or no, actually, are they specialty? No, just pay some cardstock. Or no, are they? No, I think they're washi papers, actually. Yeah, and there's like snowflakes. So a little bit of winter. And sorry that that took forever. So, um, do I think it's worth it? I, I actually do. You know, and if you're not um, bothered, you know, by spending obviously a little bit more than maybe you could get this stuff. Sometimes I just think, I always say things are worth what you're willing to pay for them. Is that the, um, you know, the term? And instead of me shopping and having to worry about, you know, putting things together, I think it'd be fun. And I love surprises like that, you know, when you get them in the mail. So your creative studio, um, I will put her link down below as well. And then the last thing, oh my back, um, is my Studio Calico Black Friday. So I ordered... I think, you know, two mystery kits, and you know, it was years ago that I, um, hold on, I gotta get down. I don't know if you, you, you guys remember, I fudge, it might have been hip kit. I was so upset, and I said I would never get a mystery kit again. It was horrible, the stuff I got. I don't remember. I have to search my channel. Um, you know, so I was a little worried to get a mystery kit. The Coco Daisy was okay because I wanted to see what it was about, but I know Studio Calico could be kind of hit or miss with me. Um, so the things I did purposefully buy um, was this wide washi here. It's just like corals and navy. And this one's kind of like, oops, sorry, an ombre kind of watercolor look. So they're both big, thick, chunky washi. This little creating kit or creating pin was a dollar so I got it this must have been like it says happy holidays our subscribers are the best so maybe this is something you got in a kit but my one of my bags I used to tote around my journaling stuff I have pins on it so I just thought it was cute um what else oh 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 this right here I think this might have been a dollar they're really good deals uh, the mystery bag kit for what we're really good. What is this? Oh, this is washi. It's just washi. Sticker sheet that I got. Um, I ended up getting from Jasmine Jones the um, acetate for Christmas. Um, just little tags and acetate words. Um, I always like when she, I like her designs when she does like Project Life or stuff for December Daily. So I got those. That will actually go good with what I bought at Pretty Little Studio. I got these little Christmas labels. Again, like they're still marked down now, but you know, on Black Friday, I think they were like $1.50. So I thought those were cute. And I guess I got this too. This must have been really cheap. Um, you know, I also, then I got... Um, what was considered their embellishment grab bag. And this was okay. I actually like the mystery kit. At the end, whenever they have these sales, I always have something that says, you know, for $10, get a mystery kit. You know, so it'd be cheaper than what it normally was. But you, you, you don't, you know, you don't know if you're going to get, you don't know if you get it 12 by 12 or, or what. So, um, I did do one of those and I got a traveler's notebook kit, but this was the embellishment kit. So this is what came in the embellishment kit. Um, these huge ampersands and it actually listed out what you're going to get. This is not the washi. Yes, it is. Is it? No, it's not. Where'd this come from? Was this, where'd this come from you guys? Was this in the, um, so this might have been in the Coco Daisy kit. Yeah, it was in the Coco Daisy kit, wasn't it? <laughs> this is their washi tape. It came on like a little, um, what is this? Oh, you put it like in your, like in your journal. So yeah, you got a washi tape on a little dispenser. 
You got some leather tags or something. Let's see what leather tags we got. No, not leather. What are these? They smell is what they are. Are they leather? I guess they are kind of like leather. See, I don't really like chunky embellishments like this anymore. I do on layouts, but not what I do now. But they're cute. I like the colors. Um, oh, acetate shapes here in gray. Here are some like clothing looking tags. Okay. They're like, I can't see that. I know, neither can I. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. So, fabric. They remind me of like clothing tags. Is that say? Oh, I thought it said roar. Rome. Very cute. And eh, I don't really like this one, but I will give it to somebody. I'll pass it on to somebody. So, some chipboard diamonds. Um, these are interesting. These are puffy. Like, super, like, oh, you get two. That's why. You get two in here. No. Yeah? Or are you just like humongo? What are you calling humongo? Are there two? There are two sheets. Okay. Cute. Where are we? Oh, here's the pleather. I don't know what those were. Those were like stinky. No, that wasn't. This is like, this is hard plastic. So, does that say Allie Edwards? It does. I'm sure they're just like little sayings, you know, she always has that kind of stuff. Just like I know her, you know, you know my girl Allie. Um, you know, I'm missing something. No, I'm not. Okay. Then I believe it came, then I got this bag. I think this came with it. So I got a mint ink. So we're still in the embellishment kit from A Beautiful Mess. Um, a Beautiful Mess. It's cute little stamp. I don't think I looked at this, did I? Um, these stickers that look like little postage stamps and I guess, oh, like a little, little notebook. I'll give that to Mila. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's cute. It was cute. It was a really cheap embellishment. Oh, and a yellow tag. A very cute embellishment, um, you know, bag. And then I won't open this. I'll go through this, but this was my free, um, this was my free, you know, I'll show you. look, I got some more ampersands, some washi. This was the free mystery kit. Um, I do miss, you know what I miss about, I remember I was a part of this for like six months or no five and I got out early. Um, this one right here, this looks like an explore kit. I missed all these little pieces. I love getting things like this. Um, these really thin, these are my favorite to use. Don't like these at all. <laughs> um, and then a traveler's notebook. But I have so many, you know, I, I'm just really glad. That's why I don't want to join another kit club because, um, you know, I don't, I don't use my stuff fast enough. I will eventually use it, but I just want to use things more often than not next in the coming in a year and then two of these paper clips um or binder rings whatever they're called so yeah i you know i i think my problem with not using enough stuff i'm just going to talk about it this way is because i always one i have a lot of stuff that I forget what I have, you know, and a lot of the times I just pull what's close to me, which is good, you know, things are getting, you know, used, but, you know, it's like I look across at all these papers that I like, oh, I wish that was in front of me, you know, and, um, or waiting to use it for like Mila's book or, you know, something like that. So I know this stuff would eventually get used. It's just, finding the time and remembering that I have it, you know, and using it. So, um, I don't know where I was going with that. I, oh, that's why I don't need another kit. That's also why I didn't need any of this stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just not in the, um, crafty, oh gosh, just not like shopping. Everything this year, I think for everybody else, has just been so blah. 
and this Christmas, you know, I skipped um, decorating. What I, I did decorate for Christmas, not as much. You know, they do like the trees up. We have two trees, but I only put one up this year. Um, you know, it's just not what it used to be or what it was sheesh, a year ago. And so it's been really hard to get into like the spirit. And I noticed that with my December daily. Um, I used to take an obnoxious amount of pictures everywhere we went. And I have, I've done so much Christmas shopping. Like the kids had some appointments. Um, the dogs went to the vet. Like I would have been all over that last year with December daily pictures. I, th I just forget. I'm just not in the mood, you know? So, um, so I was a little, not upset when that Christmas stuff came. I don't want to say upset, but it reminded me that it was like, ugh. That's right, you know, I, I got to put this this book together and it's like the crappiest Christmas as far as just being with everybody and enjoying, you know, the things that we normally do. Um, so, yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know if anybody else feels like that with their December memories, how it's, it's just like, uh, you know, <laughs> I just don't feel it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I'm still going to do it because I promised the kids. Um, I was going to make a video showing you of like the things I'm using for it, but you guys don't really want to see that. But I am going to open this in case you are at Tuesday morning and see it. Um, this is the Simple Stories one. So this is what you get in it. So it's pretty neat. You get, you know, a couple of these um, pages. I think there's, yeah, here's one with an envelope. And you get 12, uh, three different for each of, of three different designs of the pocket pages. So that's what's in there. Um, you know, this one, this will, this will be good. And, and gosh, the year that I'm probably not going to do that much, I can get all chunky. So I'm going to make the best of it, you know, and try to keep remembering to take pictures. I'm keeping the receipts, but I'd be like, just, it's that, it was that year, you guys, 2020, where I just shopped. <laughs> that's all I did in that December. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what I was using for December Daily and what I got on Black Friday. And hopefully I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.